Hello, I'm not Chuck. This How It Works video is about dual filament 12 volt DC bulbs, and it's my intention to explain how those bulbs actually work in the real world without using a lot of technical jargon and theory. As you can see, I'm wearing gloves. That's to keep the oil from my hands from getting on the glass bulbs. If I did, the oil would eventually cause the glass to break, the filaments would burn out, and the bulb would be ruined. This is a very common type of dual filament bulb. It's designated as an 1157, and it has two filaments. One large coiled filament, closer to the bottom, and one smaller coiled filament, which is closer to the top. Each can be lit individually. The smaller filament is used for a tail light, and the large filament is used for break and turn signal light. It's possible to light both of them simultaneously. In that case, the small filament is lit by itself and is still used for the tail light, and bulbs are lit together, and that indicates breaking or a turn signal. The bulb can also be used in the front of a vehicle, in which case it would be used as a combination running light, and turn signal. This is a familiar looking base to many of you. It's called a bayonet base. There are three electrical connections. One for 12 volt DC to the large coiled filament. Another one for 12 volt DC to the small coiled filament. And one, which is this entire metal enclosure, is for a common ground. By common ground, I mean that one ground is used for both filaments. This is a two-pack of a different type of dual filament bulb. It's designated as a 3157. Now, I've already opened the package, so we'll take one of the bulbs out for a closer look. This bulb also has two filaments but they're a little different from the 1157. In this case, only one of the filaments is coiled, and that's the lower filament in the bulb. The upper filament is a straight wire. It is not coiled, but it works the same way. The coiled light's brighter than the straight wire. Each filament can be lit individually, the straight is used for the tail light, and the coiled is used for the brake and turn signal light. Once again, both can be lit individually, in which case the straight is for the tail light, and the coil is used for the brake and turn signal light, and they can both be lit simultaneously, in which case the straight is used for the tail light, and both lit together are used for the brake and turn signals. Like the 1157, the 3157 can also be used on the front of a vehicle as a running light and turn signal combination. This bulb has a different type of base. This base is called a T20 wedge base, so it fits a different socket. As you can see, there are two connections on this side of the base, and there are two on this side of the base. One is for plus 12 volts to the coiled filament. One is for plus 12 volts to the straight filament. One is for a ground to the coiled filament. And one is for a ground to the straight filament. Having separate grounds allows for more switch control options. I won't go into those details here. This is a 3157 bulb that I've removed from the T20 wedge base. The wires have been straightened and separated to make it easier to see where they go inside the glass and also easier for me to connect power. The bulb will still light. I'll show you at full brightness. First, I connect ground to one side of the large filament, and as soon as I connect 12 volts plus 12 volts DC to the other side of the filament, the bulb will light. I'm sure you agree that that makes it very difficult to see the detail 
inside the bulb. Each of the two filaments has two connections for power. The positive voltage connects to one end of the filament and ground must be connected to the other end of the filament. There is no polarity. In other words, it doesn't matter which end is connected to positive and which end is connected to ground. I'm going to connect ground at a reduced operating current to one side of the large filament and I'm going to connect plus 12 volts DC to the other side. You'll notice that the large filament lights, but it lights much less brightly than it did before. That's so we can better see what's going on inside the bulb. Remember, there is no polarity, so I could just as easily have connected plus 12 volts to this wire and ground to this wire, and the filament would have lit exactly the same way. Now I'm going to light the upper filament, the smaller filament. I'm going to move my ground to one side of the upper filament and I'm going to move my plus 12 volts DC to the other side of the upper filament and you see now that it is also lit. The next step is to light both filaments simultaneously. In order to do that I'll apply ground to both filaments on one side and I'll apply plus 12 volts DC to both filaments on the other side and if I do it properly both filaments should light. You'll notice that they are both dimmer than they are before. That's because I'm operating at a reduced current and now each filament has to share the limited amount of current that I'm letting it have. You'll notice that the coiled lower filament is still brighter than the upper straight filament. Replacing the 1157 or 3157 incandescent bulbs in your RV or other vehicle with LED lighting would save 90% or more of the electricity being used by the incandescent bulbs. However, I have not yet found any LED replacements that are approved in the U.S. for highway use, and I certainly don't want to take any unnecessary chances with my tail lights, turn signals, or especially my brake lights. That's how a dual filament 12 volt DC bulb works. I hope I have taken out some of the mystery of this type of bulb. If you learned something or enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell icon to be sure that you are notified when the next How It Works is available. And don't forget, I'm not Chuck.